It's been raining nonstop for almost two weeks, several inches every day, and finally have some sunlight, clear skies, and uh, trying to fix the roof. Had some leaks here. The last three nights I've been here in the attic trying to figure it out, and uh, a couple days ago I was able to do some silicone here. Um, and right up there. So, based on where that roof vent is, I know one leak is a couple feet that direction, and then I've got straight down that rafter, there's another area around here, and then possibly another spot there. So, right now, now that the shingles are relatively dry, safe to walk on, I'm gonna go up there, and do more um, around each shingle and uh, same thing in this area. There's also a possible spot in the middle. Uh, in fact, I think I see one right now. This might be the culprit. That kind of thing. Um, so whenever, wherever I see some interruption in the granules, I'm going to put some silicone on those. Of course, there could be some kind of nail head that's poking through. I know that's a situation here. It's been raised up. Gosh, the silicone I put down the other day hadn't even dried. Yeah. Oh, man. I need to squeeze that out and then put some more. You can see water coming. Yeah, that's not even effective yet. Um... So, obviously, I need to let it dry more. There's water just beating on top of that. I'm going to wait a little bit for it to dry more. I'll squeeze that moisture out. Redo that one. Um, and I'll probably just overkill it as much as I can. And then uh, we'll see how that goes. I might do a leak test with a hose in a few days. And if it's still leaking, I'm just going to do silicone uh, that you buy like a five gallon. You can buy, uh, you can buy silicone in a five gallon pail and then roll it on. And I'm, I could go all the way down, probably starting a shingle or two over each side of where the leaks are. So maybe from here all the way down will be my uh, my last resort. So five gallon pail, I think it runs maybe a little under $400, maybe 350 or something. So we'll see how this works with just doing silicone on, uh, on these shingles. Same logic to the sides. I'm gonna do that from the top. So with silicone, I'm gonna start here at the top, go above the leak, and then the same thing in that area, at least two shingles above. New observation, as the uh, shingles dry out, the areas where I have leaks, the shingles are actually still damp. You can see it here as well. So I wonder if that's um, showing moisture coming from underneath and it's kind of wicking up through it. Not sure. Or it could be that the silicone I put on already has sort of trapped it. It's trapped the moisture that was underneath there. Um, I would assume that once it dries, um, it should be good, but it's pretty interesting. I had a leak here. And two more down there where those bowls are. Okay, three days later, there was no water in those bowls in the attic, so I'm pretty sure this worked. It did rain a couple pretty hard times in the last three days. I'm happy with it. I'm going to keep those bowls there, um, and next time we have a good rain, I'll check them again. So, mission accomplished for now. This part of the roof was put on in 2009, so we're going on 15 years, almost 16. Um, 
it's due. This is just buying me time. I'm happy with it.